Welcome back, Emilians. Again, this is Ms. Rosamay Milan. Today, I will discuss the first topic in general mathematics, which is function. On your screen, I decided to include the other objectives of today. First, we will define a function. Second, we will differentiate relations and functions. Third, I will show you the different types of functions. And fourth, we will identify if a graph is a function or not using the vertical line test. Now ready your notebook and pens, and let us start. A function is compared to a machine that whenever we have an input, we must have an output. On your screen, input is also called the x or the independent variable, while output is also called f of x or the dependent variable. However, f of x can also be written as y. So y became our output and f is the name of the function with x as the input. Now, you may look at the practical examples on your screen. If you have an output, there must be a specific input. And whatever you put or your input, such as ingredients, elements, or components, there is also a corresponding output. Example, the output is banana shake. What could be the input? That's right, banana, milk, ice, and sugar. If your input inputs are hydrogen and oxygen, what could be your output? That's right, water. How about if your output are words? Correct, that you need the input such as letters or the vowels and the consonants. If you have an input or the ingredients are water, honey, and lemon, what could be the output? That's right, lemonade. And if you have an output or if you want to have an output such as high grades, what should be your input? Correct, you must have a high, a high score in your written output, high score in performance task, assessment exam, and of course, in your creative output. You got it. So, let's move on. So, here are some definition of terms. We are going to use the terms for this lesson. So, please take a look at your screen. First, relation is a correspondence between two sets. We call them domain and range. And it can be written in ordered pairs. Example, set A is equal to nose is to flower, ear is to bell, hands is to gloves, and tongue is to orange. Second term, we have function. It is a relation such that for each value in the range, there corresponds exactly one value in the domain. Example, set A is equal to 2 is to 4, 3 is to 9, 5 is to 25, and 7 is to 49. We also have set B. 8 is to 2, 6 is to 2, 4 is to 2, 10 is to 5, and 35 is to 5. We have a domain. It is also called input, independent variable, or all values of x. Meanwhile, range is called output, dependent variable, or all values of x. In example, Nose is to flower, ear is to bell, hands is to gloves, and tongue is to orange. The domain are the body parts, such as nose, ear, 
hands, and tongue. While the range are the objects, such as flower, bell, gloves, and orange. Just like any other relationship, numbers have different types of relations too. On your screen, there are three. Now let us break them down. First, this relation, each element in set A corresponds to exactly one element in set B. You have your set X as 1 is to 2, 3 is to 4, 5 is to 6. Therefore, that relation is called one-to-one -one relations. For example, country and its capital city. Philippines is to Manila. China is to Beijing. Thailand is to Bangkok. Another example, interviewer and interviewee. Mr. Rodriguez is to Miss Samuel. Miss Ubara is to Miss Tan. Let's have the second relation. This is called many to one relation. Why? Because it has two or more elements in set A that corresponds to one element in set B. So you have your set X as A is to 1, B is to 1, C is to 1, D is to 2, and E is to 2. For example, students on each section. 36 students in Yum's Makabayan. 45 students, you can name anyone, and their section is ABM Masino. Masino. Another example is the barangays in a city. Barangay Salitran is to Dasmarina City, Barangay San Palocuan is to Dasmarina City, and Barangay San Mateo is, San, is to Dasmarina City. Now let's have the third relation. It's called the one-to-many relation. Why? Because it has one element in set A that corresponds to two or more elements in set B. Your set X is equal to X is to A, X is to B, Y is to C, Y is to D, and Z is to E. For example, the advisor and the students. Miss Milan and my advisory class, the Masinop students. Mother and her children. Mrs. Makasinag is to Stephen. Mrs. Makasinag is to Patrick. Mrs. Makasinag is to Nicole. Oh, sorry about that. Ikaw rin pala na maraming crush. So, the question is, which one of the relations are function? Think for a minute. Is it the red, the green, or the yellow? Take your time. Okay? Let's answer that question. So these two are the functions. The green and the red. The green is many to one relations and the red is one to one relations. Why? Because the green or the many to one, each element is in set B corresponds exactly one element 
in set A. While the red one or the one-to-one -one relations, each Y or each element in set B, there corresponds exactly one element in set A or in your X. The yellow is not a function. Why? Because the element in set B does not correspond to exactly one element in set A. As you can see, each element in set A has two, one or two elements in set B. That cannot be a function. Why? Because remember, function is a, is a relation such that for each value in the range, okay, there corresponds exactly one value in the domain. So take note, all functions are relations. But not all relations are functions. Parang sa friendship or sa special someone ninyo. Pag nagpo-function, okay, lahat na nagpo-function, it is a good relation. Pero, hindi lahat ng relasyon ay nagpo-function. Now, we will move on. Okay, a function represented by an equation or a formula. In this slide, you will know if the equation is a function or not. In this case, I will give you two examples of equations that are functions. Okay, let's start with the first one. This function consists of 3x and squared. Okay, how will you know if this is a function or how will I determine? So we used the table of elements. I think of numbers that I will make as the value of x. I have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and then 2. But how did I get y? So in this example, we have negative 2 as the x. Therefore, I will substitute negative 2 to our x in our equation. So, 3 will be multiplied to negative 2 squared. Negative 2 squared is 4. Therefore, 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And our f of x is 12 or y is equal to 12. That's why we have this answer. Similarly, we use that process to all the values of y on the proceedings. So again, how to compute for y? Just simply substitute the equation by the given value of x. Can you try it on your paper? Okay, let's move on. This equation is a function too. Why? As you can see, the table of values consists of 1, 4, 9, and 16. And no value of x repeats. So how did I get 4 for the value of y if x is 16? I just simply substitute 16 to square root of x and the square root of 16 is 4 therefore y is equal to 4 again simply substitute the equation by the given value of x to move on there are different types of function based on graphs we have polynomial function, constant function, linear function, quadratic function, cubic function, and 
the piecewise function. I will give you the example of their graphs. So let's have this first graph. It's a curve graph and it's called polynomial function. And this one, we have a linear graph. It's called constant function. Another linear function. And then here is the quadratic function. We have a parabola. The gold is the cubic function. And lastly, the piecewise function is this one. Now let us move on with the vertical line test. This is a test used to determine if a relation or a graph is a function. How? A relation or a graph is a function if all the vertical lines intersect the graph at exactly one point. Let me give you an example to make it clear. On this one, the graph is curved curve line. It similarly look like the polynomial function, right? I will put a vertical line anywhere on the graph. Let's say here, here, and another one here. As you can see, each vertical line intersects the graph at exactly one point. Okay? Therefore, this graph is a function. Let me give you another one. This graph, okay, I will put the vertical line anywhere on the graph. Okay, and as you can see, each vertical line intersects the graph at exactly one point. Therefore, this is also a function. However, if you are given with this kind of graph, I will put three different vertical lines on the graph. As you can see, only one vertical line intersects the graph at exactly one point. But the two other vertical lines intersect the graph at two points. Therefore, this is not a function because the vertical line intersects the graph at more than one point. Did you get it? I hope so. Thank you for visiting this topic. You can now access Quiz 1 on Brightspace. Remember to take it before the deadline. All the best. Sincerely, Miss Milan. Bye.